What's up guys, Legion here. Thank you. In this video, we will talk about how to mint and how to take care of your pet and also what is the pet utility in a Pixels Online. This is not a video of me telling you to spend $700 on a pet that uh, we don't even know what it what is doing. This is a guide on how to take care of your pet as best as possible with the information we have uh, up to now. But before I get into details, let me do a quick TLDR. We had two different uh, pet mints up to now. For the first one, we turned in game tickets and had the chance to win a dino. This is closed. For the second one, we we paid 500 pixel if we had the key of success to get uh, a dog. We have around 200 dinos and around 3000 dogs. Past mints do not guarantee future mints. We don't know what uh, we will need to do to uh, mint a capsule. After we get a capsule, we need to hatch it. One capsule plus 30 potions plus a growth lab kit equals a cute little pet. This is a dino, for example. Then to make a potion, we need to turn in some resources on the potions tab to get potions. And to take care of our pet, we need to give him a pet treats, sticks, water it and walk it and he will get happy. Now let's dive in and get into the details. First of all, we need to get a pet. We use this uh, tab here to select our pet. But how do you get this? If you don't mint one in game, you can buy it on the secondary marketplace. To find that link, you type question mark pets in a general chart, and you will get the Moscow Mavis marketplace. And here you can find all the pets. You either buy a full pet or a capsule. This is a pet capsule. We will talk about uh, pet stats later. Let's say you have, a, you have a capsule. You either mint it or you bought it. We need to turn the capsule into a pet. To do that, we need luck potions and a growth lab kit. To get both of those, go into the pet store. Click on the stand and you can buy yourself a growth lab kit for 1000 coins. And you can make potions here. Creating potions implies some luck. So those recipes are not 100% guarantee to generate the expected result. Those are the most efficient recipes we have up to now. So let's say you want a purple jump potion. It's not purple anymore, it's a strength, for example. Those are old recipes. You just put 20 cooking mix into the potions table. So for example, you select the cooking mix and you put 20 here. And then you wait two minutes and you will uh, get the potion. There are also farmlands that have uh, potion tables. Now that we have uh, at least 30 jumbo potions, do not use smaller potions. Jumbo potions are the best. And a growth lab kit, we can now hatch our pet. Uh, you can hatch either on your spec or on your land. I will use the spec to show you guys that you do not need a land to be a pet owner. Now we select the potion and we click it into the... I cannot believe it takes one minute to add one potion. Each potion influences the pet stats. Let's look at this pet for example. Um, speed potions increase your speed stat. Strength potion increase your strength stat. And of course, you also have luck. This is a balanced pet. We don't know what luck is doing. The more speed you have, the bigger the range you have. What do I mean by range? Let's say, for example, I have a pet with a lot of speed. I can reach, for example, this. You see, I get the error, you are too far away. Having a pet that has a lot of speed will increase this range that allows me to interact with objects further away. That's what speed is doing. And strength is um, providing more storage space. Pet has uh, its own storage space, you will see later in the video. The maximum amount of storage space you can have with a pet is two full rows, like 12 slots. And you need 100 strength for that. The base stat, if you don't use any potion on that uh, stat, seems to be 10 for uh, dog pets. You can expect each potion to give on average about three on that stat. So you need to, to get lucky as well when you mint a pet. That's why it, it's a big risk to mint a 
a pet, but if you can mint a pet with 100 in some stat, it might be worth something for someone. And I'm not using this because I forgot what potions I, I put in it. So I will, I will fill up this one. We have a lot of other uh, traits that we have no idea what they are doing at the moment. Like some of them are uh, visual, like you can see that it, it has a cat tail, a brown tail and so on. But we don't know what uh, smarts means and we, I don't think we can influence that. But I'm sure the, those stats will come into play when we will have a PvP with uh, pets. So this is pet utility. Uh, when you change map, you notice you, you lose 0.5 energy. If you have a pet, you don't lose that energy anymore. Second utility is that you have some extra storage space if the pet is happy. And I will show you how to take care of your pet. Third utility is the increased range if you have a speed on your pet. And fourth utility, it, it's not implemented yet, but it will be the uh, PvP uh, game loop. Maybe we will also have a YGG quest that require a pet in a gap season 5. You didn't hear that from me. Not financial advice, of course. Now we click to select pet capsule and we have only one pet and we hatch pet. Hatching takes 30 minutes. After the timer is ready, you will get the click to hatch. Oh my God, it's so cute. Let's see that 100, 100 strength, please. Oh my God, 70. That's what we call unlucky. So this is how you mint a pet. Now we need to take care of pet. This is the third part. We need pet treats. You can make them in a, in a grill. You, you see, you can make 10, 15 or just one, depending on the grill type. Or you can just buy them on the auction house. Now let's use the watering can and see it's watered. Now let's feed him. We get a little heart. Now we have 75% happiness and we can access the storage space. We can put items in it. Beware if your pet is uh, unhappy again, you will not have access to those items. And if you sell your pet with items on it, you will lose the items. Now, this is a big issue. If you have the items for task board on your pet, you cannot uh, use them to turn them in. See, I have the butterberry on my pet and the task board will not see them. So you need to, it's a lot of extra work. Maybe they will fix it in the future to take the items directly from your, uh, from your pet. So we are at 77% happiness. It increased 75 seven and if we give him another pet treat it's the same you can also give him a stick it will show you a star see this storage chest is too far away but i can reach this one previously i was not able to reach this storage chest let's rest the pet and you can see i cannot even get to this storage chest so it is, even with only 10 speed, it is uh, almost double my reach uh, distance. But happiness is decreasing uh, significantly if you rest it. If you have more than one pet, it might be a chore to keep them happy at all times. But it might also be a strategy to have a full strength pet, a full speed pet, and a full lux pet and, and use them when you need them depending on the situation, not financial advice. And it's so funny, it's minted on 29 on the extra day from the bisect year. That's so cool actually. But yeah, this is all we know about pets at the moment. I hope this guide um, will help you in uh, hatching and taking care of your pet. Have fun, Legion out.